Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how to install the current Java version. With that, we will also run our first Java program quickly. For that, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type Oracle Java and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it. We will reach the official website. Here is the link. You can verify. Now click on download Java. Here in the current version is visible, which is 20.0.2. No problem. Go to Windows. Go for the installer file. Click on it to download the exe file 160 MB. Here it is. It is downloading. Let's wait. We have downloaded the exe file. Click on it to install. Right click open. Minimize. The Java JDK installation started. Click next. Now you can see it will get installed in the following location. We will see it later. Click next. Click close. Now we have installed it. Now go to the path. Go to C drive. It got installed under program files. If you remember, go below. Here it is Java. Double click on it to open. Here is the file. Go to bin and copy this path. Minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Remember you need to click on edit the system environment variables. Click on open. Now go to environment variables here. Click on it. And the system variables go below. Go here, double click on it, go to new, right click and paste the same path. Here it is bin path, click OK, OK and the last OK. Now we have installed, go to start, type cmd, click on open to open the command prompt. Now type java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. 20.0.2 that means we successfully installed it. Okay. Now close it. Now we will run our first program. Go to D drive. Right click and create a folder. Let's say I'll create Amit folder. Double click. Here we will add our Java file. Right click. Go to new. Click on text document. And here in type the name of the class file. Now type the name. Let's say the name I'll add demo and I'll change the extension demo.java. When you'll keep the cursor, it will ask, Do you want to change the extension? Click yes. Now we have a Java file. If you are unable to get this option of extension, go to view, click on show, and here in select file name extensions. After that, when you'll select it, .java will be visible, else it will vanish. Okay, so this can be the error. I'll go to file name extension and here is the file. Now right click and you can open it with Notepad++ or directly Notepad because many users don't know what Notepad++ is. Click open with Notepad. Now let us run our first program. Let us quickly type it. Now here we have created class demo. The name of the class is demo and the name of the file is also demo. These should be same as there will be a class not found exception. Now we have public static void main. We have added it. Now here in public is an access modifier. We have static here which will allow the following main function to be called without the need to instantiate a new particular instance. Void is a return type and uh, this is the main function. This will call when the application will begin for the first time. String argument. This is for command line arguments. Okay. This is a parameter arg which is an array of instance of the class string. Okay, this is to receive the command line arguments. Now we will print something. So here in we use system.out.println. System is a predefined class. Out is used to display the output stream and println is a function to display the string. So whatever you will type here, it will get printed. Go to file, click save. We need to run this program. How? Since we have set the path. So here is our Java. You need to copy this path. That's it. Go to start CMD. 
Type cmd, click on open to open the command prompt. Now we need to reach the D drive, so I'll type D colon and press enter. So we will reach here. Now type cd space amit because we need to reach the cd amit or you can directly type dir for all the files under the D drive. So we have amit here, we need to reach amit. That's it. So cd space amit and press enter. We have reached here. Okay, now what we need to do? Here is our demo.java. So I'll compile first Java C means Java. Java C means Java compiler type demo. Java C space demo.java and press enter. If there will be an error, it will show it. But there is no error and a class file generated. You can see the time. It just now got generated. That means we successfully compiled it. Now type Java space demo. That's it to run the program. And we successfully ran it. Our first Java program. Here it is our first Java program. We successfully ran demo.java file. So guys in this video we saw how we can install Java and run our first Java program. Thank you for watching the video.